Okay, initially we took a video of the house when we first started and now we're more than halfway through so we'll go room by room and see the progress. So living room, dining room are painted where you're just waiting for the flooring. Hardwood floor in here and then tile most everywhere else and carpet upstairs. I don't know if you guys remember the windows when we first looked at them, they were all foggy, hazy, so we replaced all the windows. Okay, so we'll just take a tour of the first floor and see how far we've gotten. Nick, I noticed that like some of the radiators are still here. Yeah. But we also have ductwork. Why? Yes, I decided to keep the heating system because it's gas fired hot water heat, mm -hmm. which to my mind, it's always been the best heat. And then I added air conditioned central air. Okay. And so central it's, air and HVAC are the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, HVAC would be heating and cooling. So this one's just cooling? Just cooling. Hmm. So it's, okay, cool. Yeah. There was a remote somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so this is the breakfast room. We didn't really know what to do with this room at first. I wanted to open up the wall and extend the kitchen out, but because there was a, uh, this is the end of the building, that it, structurally we couldn't remove it. So what you're saying is that the uh, kitchen was like an attachment that was put on the building, yeah. right? And you discovered that because it was like made of a different material or was it just like a different color or? No, there were columns in the wall that could not be moved. Okay. Unless you want the back of the house to fall down. <laughs> so if you're looking for your house, hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so in here we did a tray ceiling, and we're going to finish it with some crown molding and then some strip lighting behind the crown molding. And then in the kitchen, we, I think when we saw that, this the last time, it was the old kitchen that we had to completely remove. So we tiled the floor. We added these uh, high gloss self-closed cabinets. Did some subway tile around the over the quartz countertop and installed new appliances. Okay, let's venture upstairs. Okay, so in here, we're just scraping, painting, and spackling. You can see it requires a lot of spackling on these ceilings because the house is old and it's smoothed, as most do. And you can see the new windows here. They make a big difference. You just got to trim them out on the inside and they'll be done. So in here we'll carpet the whole second floor and the stairs, and then up on the third floor. This originally was the master bedroom. It has a nice big walk-in closet. But I decided to take the third floor and convert it to the master. I just felt it was better for the parents to be upstairs and the children down here. If it works out that way. 
But this could always go back to a master. It's just that upstairs we built a whole new bathroom. So it works better. Take a look at this shower, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Damn. <laughs> you see? So we got the gray tile, gray ceramic. And then as a border, I put this uh, small stone border in there. Also in the soap dish area. And then we got this cool faucet. We still have to put the door on. It's somewhere around here. New vanity, new faucet. And of course, new tile. I'm going more with the gray theme throughout, gray walls and white trim. Then picking up the grays in the bathroom with black fixtures. <clears throat> so we'll just, this is ready to paint. So up here, because the AC probably wouldn't have come up this high easily, we put a split unit in which can act as a heater and an air conditioner. And you're seeing a lot of them these days because they're easy to put in and go through the wall. Now in the bathroom here, um, we're going to refinish the tub. So typically you refinish it with white, but I asked him if he could do it in gray. So it'll kind of pull everything together. Same colors upstairs? Yeah, like on the walls, a lighter gray. Hmm. Yeah. We still have the sunroom to tile. And we got some really nice tile for that as well. Ooh. Ooh, okay, fancy. And then four go together to make a pattern. Yep. And then I'm going to paint it yellow, make it bright. With that floor tile, it'll be great. Hmm. Maybe like a sunflower yellow color? Or yeah. more like mustard? No, sunflower. Yeah, I like yellow. that. So if people want to like learn about flipping houses or flip a house, who should they call? You should call Nick Piscatelli, 410-365-0200. One more time, just in case. And Maryland Commercial Ventures, 410-365-0200. What's the name again? Nick Piscatelli, Maryland Commercial Ventures.